everybody, it's Andy, a.k.a. Max Ryder. We're back with more The Crooked Man. We're exactly where we were last time. Does nobody live here? Wait, what? I thought, oh, I went to the... I did go back to my... What was that? Hey, somebody moved my chair. Did I move that chair? Hmm, there's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for a school. Looks pretty old, hmm. These LLM courses are circled. Somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Oh, that's right, it's a furnished apartment. All this stuff belongs to the former tenant. Can you get it started? Okay, so I've got... Oh, I haven't saved yet. Let's go ahead and save the game. There we go. I just want to make sure stuff doesn't happen that's going to be terrible. So all I did today was go to see my mother. Oh man, the phone rings constantly. Now what? Hello? Hey David, how are you doing? <laughs> you saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? I'll try to use that for Mariner. Uh, by the way, I got a call for sh from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her uh, I, I don't need her to worry. She should just look out for herself. All right. Well, I'll hang up now. All right, see you. There's a weird way to say goodbye. Okay, I'm going to hang up now. What? Okay, so Shirley's what? An ex? Hmm, supper time. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Alright, I might as well just do what they tell me to do. Because I don't think anything's going to happen until I do. Alright, good enough. What the hell is that? A TV? What's that noise? Oh, shit. It is a TV. Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Well, it is old. Oh, jump scare coming up. Sink? Gah! What? What? This is creepy. Uh, that wasn't that creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? There was only one sink. It's a wash basin. A wash basin. Oh wait, kitchen sink. Duh. Because that one actually says sink. Hmm, there's a scrap of paper under here. I got a scrap of paper. There was a crooked man. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which ca caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a little crooked house. Is this a Mother Goose rhyme? Why is it here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant. This is so strange. I should sleep and forget about it. Well, nothing's going to happen till I sleep, so here we go. Do, 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 do. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... It sounds louder. Is that a kid I hear? A kid would live in these beat-up apartments. I don't know, poor kids, probably. Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Good thing I just sleep in my clothes. I hate that. That's going to mess me up in this game, I bet. Oh, cutscene. Of course there's no kids here. Let's just be getting tired. What was that? Something broke. Oh, what is that? Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Wait, what? Help me. The coffee says, you gotta be. This room is is really, really strange with its voices and TVs turning on. What is this? Will David ever find out? Oh, I'm calling somebody. I'm gonna drink a water, take a drink of water. Ah, uh, hi, Paul, it's David. Excuse me. Yeah, what's up? 
Man, you sound sleepy. Ha ha. Ha ha, yeah. Um, I was up all last night. I gotta ask you something. Is okay? Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Oh, this is a lot like, uh, wait. Maybe. Nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, it seems like he forgot a lot of stuff, but I'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. Alright, let's go, man. Heading for the landlady. Gonna get to see the first floor. Here we are on the first floor. Huh. That is the exact same crack that's in my wall. Hello! Oh, that's that's Mom's voice. Hello! Oh, it's Mr. David! What seems to be the matter? Uh, good day, miss. I just wanted to ask something. You see... About the room I'm in. Can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm, well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe it was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't know where he went? I never heard that, no. Really, just stopped and left out of the blue. Oh, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants if you'd like. N no, there's no need. Why? Yes, just say yes. You just offered. Uh. Thanks. Uh, I was just a little curious. Thanks. I'll see you around. Alrighty. Sorry I wasn't very useful. Man about my age. I can only wonder. Oh, well. I'll get back to my room. I shouldn't bother her again. Can I leave? What's it say? No need to go out. It's a little rare, Rody. Hey. What the heck? What? That's interesting. That crack appearing in the wall. I like that. If I was a gamer, what would I do? I... I'm just trying to see if there's anything new. Oh, what is this? Dirty footprints. Oh, what? Why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? A brass key. The key's pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here, so I wonder where. Hmm. The brass key. The guy's voice, the kid's voice, is the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. Huh. It's like a poltergeist or something. No, it's not. A poltergeist throws stuff around. This is some kind of weird haunting. But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I care if there were ghosts here. Wouldn't much care if they haunted me and killed me either. Holy crap, David. That's dark. But I wonder about that scrap of paper. It did say help me. A scrap of paper... What was the man? What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. Time to go back to bed so something else terrifying will happen. You didn't even clean up this mess on the floor. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Items. I have the brass key. Okay. Okay, that's him upset about her leaving. The help me thing is just gone. Okay, so that must not be that important. All right, let's go to bed. Oh, you have to lay on this side. Time for sleeping. Time for another sip of water. What? What is that? What is that? What? Where's that coming from? Is it from inside the house? It's not the TV. Is it the computer? It's not the computer. It sounds like a radio. Do I have a radio?
Where is that coming from? There's a crack on the floor here. Yeah, that's a radio, like in his mom's. Aha! It came from in here. What's in there? Oh, we're at 10 minutes already, aren't we? Yep. Radio? What's... Why is this in my closet? Not to mention turning on by itself. Hmm? There's something on this paper here. It's an address? Bum bum bum! Our special place. What's that supposed to be? I got a paper with the address of our special place. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ! That scared the shit out of me. Okay, that one got me. I'm waiting for you. Whoa, what? That one, that one got me. This thing lulls you into a sense of false security, and then boom! I, I'm waiting for you. Why? Why did? How? And when did it? Dude, you just said you didn't care if you live or die. What? 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 Oh my god. Oh, damn it. Now a long cutscene. So, you sleep well last night? Sorry you had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Ha! Wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look so hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the newlywed's love nest. Hey, why you? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Seriously, though, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. All right. <laughs> But I'm glad to have a buddy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you making fun of me? Always, Paul. Oh, yeah. I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, all right? I know you've got your mother to look after, but I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. Oh, my God. It's me. It's me. I'm a... I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital, and the girl I wanted to marry ran from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up that moping, and all you'll have your own personal rain cloud. Huh. Well, I'll be careful. Oh, I'm going to go on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation. Oh, I'm going to go on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. Breakfast's ready, Paul. David, will you be eating, too? Nah, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Oh, that's too bad. Come by anytime you like. Okay, there. Looks like this address is in the mountains, about a five hour drive. Did the former tenant go there? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. Hell, I'll go right now. Can't stand this place anyway. So we're off to the mountains. Dun dun dun! If we can get done with the stupid cutscenes. Prologue, David's room, end. Okay, so, that's the end of the prologue. We'll save. And thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it, and I will talk to y'all next time.